So it's possible that you may want to fit a vertical curve through a particular point. A lot of times this is associated with clearance above underground features like a culvert or a utility that you want a certain amount of uh, cover over them before your, you have your roadway or below ground features like a bridge or utility line. So those are fixed points you may want to be above or below in consideration for your vertical alignment. So checking to ensure the appropriate clearance is provided is important, it's necessary. You can do it mathematically with a parabolic equation for your specific curve and with the grade if you're just in a tangent section. But some instances may require solving for the length of the curve that will fit through a specific point. So to find the length L of a curve that will fit through a given point based on whatever clearance information is given, you need E, which is the point on the curve. That's what we're, we're looking for. That's the width that's considering the clearance and then points F and G, which are on the tangent part of the grades, along with the distance D that you'll need from the PVI to your point of interest. We've got the same look, whether it's a sag or a crest, your point on the curve is G, your next closest tangent is F. So that's the next closest tangent and then your further away tangent is G. And we're gonna solve for S and this really is a, just an intermediate calculation The S doesn't actually mean anything. This is just the square root of the elevation at E minus the elevation at G divided by the elevation at E minus the elevation at point F. And then to actually find that length L, it's two times the distance D from the PVI times S plus one divided by S minus one. So working through an example, what's the length of a vertical curve that will pass through point A? That's an elevation of 178.1 feet and the elevation of the PVI is given as 169.4 feet. So a simple drawing again to help us locate everything. The PVI elevation is 169.4 feet. Our point of interest is 150 feet from the PVI and we're given that the point, the elevation we need to meet is 178.1 feet. And again, it could be because there's a bridge above the road at this point. Uh, so we're trying to meet this clearance here so that vehicles can pass underneath or it could be there's maybe some underground utility here. So there's some necessary clearance above that uh, utility or culvert or something else. So that's the kind of scenario we may be dealing with here. And we need to find the elevation at point F and at point G. So the elevation at F is 169.4 feet plus 4% times 150 feet. So we're just going up this grade here to reach point F. So the elevation at that point is 175.4 feet. And then next we can find the elevation at G, Y sub G, 169.4 feet. That's the elevation of the PVI going down the grade of 3% across 100, 150 feet gives us an elevation of 164.9 feet. And doing the drawing will help you keep these organized. We can clearly see that 178.1 should be the high point, then 175.4, then 164.9 feet, laying out those three points here. Next, we can determine the required length of curve from the following equations, solving for S, so 178.1 minus 164.9 divided by 178.1 minus 175.4 gives us an S of 2.21. And then our equation for L is just two times our 150 feet distance from the PVI times 2.21 plus one divided by 2.21 minus one gives us a length of 796 feet to fit the vertical curve through our point of interest. 